Hi everybody, in this clip we're going to be refining and finishing most of the bulk of our design here. So we've got basically our, our general structure here, but some of these details don't really go together. So let's start refining them, because we know some of our tools, but we need to make sure that the design looks good. So I'm going to use my clip curve to just start to refine some of these pieces. Some of these details are just getting a little bit too complicated and aren't creating shapes that necessarily suit the design. Now, in this case, I want to also make sure that my mirror and weld is turned on because these pieces need to make sure that they go together in some way. So that's pretty good. Let's start to adjust some of these other pieces here. So I do want to break up some of these other elements in here. Let's use our select lasso again here. Start to just remove certain pieces that we want to keep. So I like this part, but I'm going to separate it. So I'm going to shift Q to just kind of open this up again. It allows me to split hidden much faster. I'm going to press my col uh, colon key. That's going to allow me to kind of pop in and out of solo mode, which is incredibly useful for me. And then now these pieces are separated, so I can start to actually do some really nice easy cleanup of it. Again, I'm just going to pop in here. I'm going to reduce some of these little objects in here so I can get quick access to my Dynamesh. Lower that resolution. That is pretty good. And now I can start to just kind of refine this a little bit more. If I just go a little bit higher on that Dynamesh too, move this into position. There we go. So now here, for example, I'm going to use that transpose tool again just to kind of pull some of these pieces apart so I can just get some nice clean shapes. Use my H polish to kind of clean up some of the structure in here. Now one of the things is is the edges here are still just a little bit too um, hard edged but like blocky through these sections here. I'm going to use my trim dynamic brush. What this will allow me to do is to actually create some cleaner geometry and shapes by just kind of cutting into it. Let's just go into isolation mode here. Uh, let's redynamesh that. There we go. H polish some of these sections through here. I'm also going to use my clip curve just to kind of clean up some of these sections here. Redynamesh. And now I'm going to use my trim dynamic to kind of cut in some nicer bevels through here. There we go. Now this works really nice in conjunction with H polish as I'm switching back and forth between them because that will start to kind of cut across the surface and then H polish will refine that section as well. So there we go. And I can just kind of clean some of that up with just some simple model moving just to kind of make this look a little bit nicer. And I'll use the transpose to just kind of push that section down by holding alt. So that's pretty good. Some of these spots don't need to be cleaned up too much. I can just refine some of these sections in here again. Because this is just a concept, I don't need to be perfect with it, but it's good to get a sense of what we can work with in here and whether or not you want your curve to be maybe a little bit more complete through this section here so that it's maybe more of a taper. And that can tend to look a little bit better in some cases. Now this section down here, let's just alt click. We can also start to move. Again, transpose works really nicely for just kind of manipulating and getting these sections here. If I just click this point, I'll click this point down here. There we go on the outside edge, then we can just kind of start to pull these sections in. Click the outside edge here, or the outside edge here. And we can just start to pull these parts in and see how they work. So we can just move these elements around and see what we get. So that's pretty good. I'm just trying to find lots of different interesting shapes to work with as I'm blocking out these various sections here. Just grab various parts and see what works as you start to kind of grab different areas here. That's pretty neat, pretty interesting looking. Maybe we can reuse some parts down here too. So let's take this, kind of pull that up with control, and we could mirror this as well, maybe on the Y axis, see what that looks like here. Oh, let's, oh, I'm doing a mirror and weld, that's my mistake. There we go, mirror. Pull this down on the axis here. I could use my scale my size adjustments here, just to maybe pull that down, put that through here, see what that looks like. That's a pretty interesting shape. I could use my mirror and welds as well to create some, oh, let's just do that on these axes. There we go. And then we can start to see the kind of shapes that we want to create here in a more interesting and compelling way. Some sections too, like this, I may want to actually take out and have be a separate piece of geometry. So one of the ways that I can do that is actually just totally detach it from where it currently is. Let's remove that section. There we go. 
So now in here, uh, or actually down in the subtool area, I can go in here and say split masked points. So now that's actually separated out into its own mesh. So in here, for example, I can take this piece and start to move it and manipulate it however I want. Usually I'll try to in, just interpenetrate these other areas here just to try to create a shape that's going to be really nice and interesting on top of these surfaces. Now, in some cases, I might need to just refine a little bit more. I can just kind of come back in here. Let's start to try to push these sections out with that transpose brush. It's pretty good, but a little bit hard to get the shape that I want out of this. So what I'm going to do is inflate it a whole bunch, redynamesh, and then start to just kind of trim it up in a way that's going to be a lot more manageable. There we go. Because now I've got the shape to work with here. I can start to potentially scale this down into something a lot more manageable so that I could create those sections that I need. There we go. This is pretty good. And again, this is all just kind of manipulating and changing these forms into something that's going to be more manageable. Let's just divide that up again with that Dynamesh. Every time I go here, I'm just re-Dynameshing. Smooth some of this out here. This section here is looking a little bit too flowery. Uh, I want to do a Dyna mesh or a Z remesher here because I still want to keep this shape relatively clean because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. But I think I want to keep these edges nice and clean and crisp as I'm working with them because I don't want stuff to get too um, soft or curvy in this geometry here. Now, what I can do is also select masks for certain areas. So then in here, I can start to pull this geometry in in a much more clean and manageable way. Manipulate some of this geometry so that I'm getting clean, sharp edges in some of these sections here. That's pretty good, but I might want to just pull that in a little bit more up there. That's pretty good. So once you just do all that various types of masking and things like that, you're going to start getting the kinds of shapes you're looking for a lot more often and creating different types of elements that are going to look a lot more compelling way more. So that's looking pretty good, pretty interesting. I do want to use H polish to start to just try to polish out some of these sections here. Start getting the, the kind of shape and form that I'm looking for as I start to work through this. And again, it's just kind of manipulating, changing and fiddling with it as you go. This is a process that I really like. I'm going to use Trim Dynamic again through here. Now, what you'll find is sometimes when you start to try to trim dynamic across certain sections, it can be a little bit trickier. Sometimes it's good to isolate it by itself uh, to do that process because then when you're crossing other sections, you get a, a clean connection here. That's pretty good. Just start to pull this into a, a bit more of a flat shape here. Isolate and just kind of clean that. And there we go. And I can use my Alt to just kind of maybe pull that down a bit more along that surface. There we go. And start to see the kinds of shapes that we want to get out of this. So that's pretty good. I'm thinking that we should repeat some elements up here. So for example, I'm not really loving how this piece is working. Uh, so one thing that I can do is just if I select this section down here by itself, Control Shift A will highlight the entire rest of the connected model so the other section won't show up. So then what I can do is just delete hidden, which is one of my options in here again. Just delete hidden. And let's take this section here and let's reuse this by holding control and then doing mirror on the Y axis. That'll kind of flip that over and we can reuse this piece. I'm going to just decrease that scale a bunch more because I don't want this piece to be too big. Let's maybe pull this out a little bit more here so that it's a little bit longer than it used to be. A little bit more shallow. Something like that would be pretty interesting to work with here. Let's just start to pull that out in this direction as well. Again, I'll hold Alt. Zoom in real close. Hold Alt so that this actually really pulls out like that. There we go. And again, in this case, I'm going to just make sure that I use my mirror and weld in both directions so that this becomes a nice clean shape through here. And I'll use my move tools with 
Z axis symmetry just to kind of pull some of these shapes in and start to see what kind of connections we get. All of this kind of manipulation is really useful when we're trying to deal with some of these structures. There we go, pull these parts together just to kind of block in what all those elements might be. That's pretty cool. And so in our next clip, what we're going to be doing is looking at how we can actually really finish out this design with some minor polishing.